Aisle Broker. Automate your life. In this video, you will be shown what hardware you need to install Aisle Broker automation platform on a yacht. Aisle Broker in MIA adapter installation process. Examples of visualizing data from NMEA 2000 instruments. Connecting non-NMEA 2000 sensors to the yacht bus. And other scenarios of using IO Broker on a yacht. To connect the IO Broker to the yacht, you can use one of two options. Use the ActaSense NGT, one in conjunction with any single board computer. For example, Raspberry Pi 5. Or use the dedicated PiCan M board in conjunction with a Raspberry Pi 4. To output the visualization to a computer or mobile phone, you naturally need a Wi Fi router to which both the phone and the single board computer are connected. And also, if you want to monitor the yacht remotely, you need an internet connection. It can be Starlink or GSM modem. To integrate the NMEA adapter with IO Broker, begin by navigating to the adapters section and searching for NMEA in the provided filter field. Should the adapter not appear, it may be necessary to switch the repository setting to beta as the driver is currently in a testing phase at the time this video was created. Following this adjustment, select the update button to make the NMEA adapter visible under the adapters section. Proceed by clicking on install to add the adapter to your setup. Typically, the settings page will launch automatically post installation, but it can also be accessed manually by heading to the instances section and clicking on the wrench icon adjacent to the NMEA adapter. This stage involves configuring your hardware setup, where you'll select either a COM or CAN port based on the type of hardware you're employing. This marks the completion of the basic configuration process. For those utilizing PIC and M, the configuration steps are slightly more intricate. For detailed instructions, consult the readme.md file. Once the installation and configuration are successfully completed, you'll find an NMEA folder within the Objects tab. This folder contains data from all sensors connected to the NMEA 2000 bus, providing a comprehensive overview of your system's input. And that's how you achieve a successful setup. Here we can see examples of speed over ground, course over ground values, rudder position, and water depth. As a prerequisite for visualization, the VIS-2 adapter must be installed. For the demonstration, we'll create a new page and call it Boat. First, we'll place a widget and select the instance in settings. After that, normally all parameters are filled in automatically, but you can check the ID and, if necessary, take it from another place. Here we can see four different display options. These are wind direction, navigation or compass, rudder position, and autopilot. If you don't have some of these, you can hide them or change the order if you prefer a different one. Let's move on to the second widget called instrument. This widget can display all sorts of information.
Here we add course over ground, speed over ground, and water depth. Additionally, we are inserting the temperature from a completely different source, not in MIE 2000. This widget can display information from any source. It is designed to show multiple pieces of information on a compact display. Currently, we have created a display of some NMEA 2000 data. Let's extend the first widget with additional information. Now we can enlarge this widget on the whole screen. However, this too can do much more. Get inspired by other YouTube videos about this too, showing what can be displayed in visualization. You can open the visualization in the app on your mobile phone or in the browser. You can create a Telegram bot to request the information and control your yacht. Here you can see an example of how it works. With IOBroker, you can take data from non nmea 2000 devices and feed the data from them onto the yacht bus to show on the ship's standard displays. For example, you can take the temperature from a Shelly sensor that is installed in the salon and display it on the cockpit panel. To inject the data, go to Instances. Then to NME settings. Simulate. Click enabled. Through plus we add the sensor data that we have. For example, we will take the inside temperature and the inside humidity. Depending on the equipment located on the yacht, some devices do not understand old packets or, on the contrary, cannot interpret new ones. Therefore, you can try to enable or disable the combined environment option. Using IOBroker, you can create audio alerts for important events, such as when the water in the tank runs out, and output these alerts either to the yacht's audio system or to a speaker connected to the Raspberry Pi via USB or audio output. Please note that to create the alerts for the first time, you need an internet connection. After the announcements are created, they can be played without internet.
Of course, with IO Broker, you can visualize not only data from NMEA 2000, but also data from any devices that are connected to IO Broker. And it is possible not only to visualize them, but also to create automation. For example, if today is sunny and tomorrow is expected to be a cloudy day, energy will be transferred from the solar panels to charge the battery. It is also possible to record historical data and display it graphically. To summarize, IOBroker allows different sensors from different sources to communicate with each other and gather information together. The possibilities for realizing your project are virtually unlimited.